Hi, this is Spencer Ingley again from the AnyFish development team and in this segment I'm going to show you how to uh, landmark your TPS files, your, your lateral images of your fish to use as uh, texture files for your AnyFish model. Now, so this is done in TPS Dig. Uh, this software again can be downloaded from the SUNY Morphometrics homepage which I showed you in the last segment uh, under I believe it's the digitization tab. Uh, so what we're going to do is follow the the landmarking guide provided on the AnyFish wiki. So this is under the modeling body and fin shape section. And if you go down, there are two images, one with the stickleback model, which has the TPS morphological landmarks used for the stickleback. And then another is the Pisaliad model, uh, which here it shows a sword tail, but this uh, this landmarking scheme can be used for any piece of lead. So I'm going to show you an example with a piece of lead, uh, and you can follow these exact same steps with a stickleback. Uh, of, uh, of course, just using the different landmarking scheme that that corresponds to that species or that that set of species. So to start off with, uh, in the last segment we created the TPS file. Uh, so now what you're going to do is open that TPS file. And I'll show you how to open that up, uh, apply the landmarks, and then I'll show you just sort of a completed uh, image. And we'll go through all the landmarking in this, in this case. So once you have TPS Dig opened up, go ahead and blow that up there. You do File, Import Source, Select File, and Zypho Demo 1 is the file that I created in the last segment. Go ahead and double click that. What you'll see here is that your image will pop up here in this screen. So there's my image, the first image that I uploaded uh, that I, using that TPS file that I created in the last segment. And there's a few different things that you need to do here before you go ahead and landmark. One is to set the scale. So you set the scale using image tools, and there are two different ways to access that. One is here in the toolbar. Uh, it's this little hammer and wrench and screwdriver, that's the image tools, and there's through options, image tools. So when you open image tools, there's a number of different tabs here. You can adjust the landmark size and color, the landmark label and color, uh, various tools here that I'm not gonna go through right now. But what we're concerned with is under the measure tab. So in this case, you can set the reference length so that a scale is applied to your image. And this scale is then used in the AnyFish program uh, and then also in, also in TPS Transformer pr prior to running the AnyFish editor. So this is a very important step. So in this case, I'm going to apply a reference length of one centimeter. So I've entered one here and I've selected centimeter from the drop down menu. I will click on set scale and then over here I have a ruler, so I'll just go ahead and click and drag, click, drag, click again, and there we go, the menu, and click OK. And here you can see that it sets a reference length in pixels and the scale factor there. I'm going to close that window, blow this up again. The next thing that you want to do is apply the landmarks. So to apply the landmarks, you click on the Digitize Landmark tool right here, which is this pair of crosshairs. And then you see that your cursor is now crosshairs rather than the, than the, than the arrow. So to do this, it's, it's very simple. You just locate the area on the fish that needs to be landmarked, and you click. So in, in the case of the Pisa Lead model, there are 42 different landmarks that need to be uh, digitized on your image. It's important to note that landmark 1 and 22 should be identical. Uh, this is important for uh, the TPS transformer step, which I'll show you in, uh, in a couple more videos. So just go ahead and follow through all of these different points according to this landmark guide in TPS Dig. And when you're done with that, you can do File, Save Data, Save, and Overwrite.
It's important that you do overwrite and not append because it will just create uh, the file in the format that you need with, with all of those different uh, landmark coordinates. So really quickly I'm going to go ahead and show you a completed landmark file. I'm going to open up TPS Dig again, go to File, and say, select say for Demo. And if you zoom out here, right now I have the labels turned off, but in Image Tools you can turn on your landmark labels so that all of these will have the, the correct numbers. So this is a digitized uh, image with all the correct landmarks. Uh, in this case, this is an old image, and first and twenty-second landmarks are not identical. So I'll go ahead and fix that. And it's also important to note uh, while talking about landmark numbers that the landmark numbers that you assign in in, in this digitization process need to be identical. Uh, to the the numbers assigned here in this in this uh, landmarking guide. So basically, if you forget one and skip one and go and landmark the whole rest of the fish, you have to start over or move them all back manually because they need to follow this exact order, uh, one up through 42. Otherwise, you'll have errors uh, later on in the process. So this is this is a, a place where you need to get the number and the order of landmarks exactly right. So that is how you digitize the landmarks on a lateral image of your fish using TPS Dig. Uh, in the next video I'll show a, a quick example of how to generate a consensus file that represents the shape of multiple individuals within a population or species of interest.